if city family happy new year this is our first live stream of the new year it feels like the new year is already like halfway done but we're back guess who's back back again bobby and art are back tell your friends so i hope you had a great holiday season uh we took the previous week off from a live stream because i was sick as a diggity dog i'm actually still not 100%, but finally feeling better. And then the previous week was the holidays. I was traveling to Arizona to visit his uh, family. So now we're back. Fridays with Flav are bigger and better than ever. And I know, I just know this one's gonna be a great stream with possible record setting uh, viewership because I've never seen 200 people waiting for a live stream before. So it's gonna be really, really fun. If you're new to the channel, and I know a lot of you guys are judging by the comments, welcome. So we have three to four videos on the channel every week. This month, seven videos a week, and we normally do a live stream every Friday night called... Fridays with Flay. Fridays with Flay. By the way, everyone say hello to the one and only Arthur T. Almacy. Happy New Year to everybody, and welcome all the way from London, UK, and oh. Hawaii. I see some uh, long distance. Wow, that sounds good to me. Um, make here. sure you can hear Art and I well and can see us. Leave a comment down below. Here's the menu for good tonight. To we were kind of at Whole Foods. We filmed some videos today, and we're like, what should we make? Want it to be easy, because we had filmed a lot of videos today. I'm feeling kind of tired. Let's make healthy turkey burgers with homemade secret sauce, cauliflower thin buns that are done already. It's a new product from the grocery store, caramelized onions that I'm doing right now, um, a little bit of vegan cheese melted on top, sweet potato fries with two tips for making the crispiest sweet potato fries you can possibly do, and just a really nice salad with a crowdsourced dressing, although I'm thinking in my head I wanna go somewhere, but it's all about you guys, so you all let me, whoop, breaking news. Joseph Finley, $9.99. Let's get this started. Cleveland says hello. Joseph Finley, a huge What's fan. Up, Thank you, Joseph, and the amazing Thank Technicolor you. Dream Code. Hello to you and Toonses. Appreciate, appreciate Toonses, the driving wife. I hope you guys are having a great night there in <laughs> Cleveland. Um, so, first things Thank first. You. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from and what you're making for dinner on this beautiful Friday night. And then Art, sharing is caring, so what should people do tonight? They should share this live broadcast on all forms of social media and dating apps. That's right. Farmers only, from Tinder to Grindr, whatever it is, we don't care because we want more people. It's Friday night. We're cooking healthy paleo recipes. Where else are you going to be? Tyler, Texas in the house. Oh, is that what's your name? stomping grounds. Gorgeous. No. I, what, the name oh, it's a new person from Tyler. Yeah, you welcome, don't want to be like in the young. bar drinking crappy drinks or at dinner overpaying for some bad food. You want to be in the kitchen with us. All right, we got Texas, Chi-Town, Dallas again, Delaware, Houston, Erie, Pennsylvania, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Wow, we got lots of folks. So guys, keep sharing and caring. Let's get going. The first thing I have to do is get my sweet potatoes going. I noticed in the comments, you guys wanted to know how to get sweet potatoes crispy, which is very hard to do because the starch content of sweet potatoes is nowhere near white potatoes or like a Idaho russet potato. So this is the best you can do. First, I am preheating my oven to 450 degrees. And as you'll see in one minute, my sheet pan is inside the oven because I'm getting it super hot because I'm trying to jumpstart the caramelization as quickly as possible. Before we get that going, because we're doing high heat cooking in this bottle, am I using avocado oil or olive oil? Which, what is the answer, you guys? I have 450 degrees there. Leave a comment down below. Either way, I'm gonna drizzle from the heavens because I want them to be lubricated because the oil is a conductor of heat that will crisp up my fries very lovely. And then I'm gonna use some really good salt. This is beautiful. You guys know I love my unrefined salt. This is Celtic sea salt. It's a company called Celtic. It's unrefined white sea salt from Brittany. And I love it. You know, I love Redmond Seal sea salt too, but this stuff is just so flaky and so good. We're already at 724 Whoa! people. What? Keep okay. Sharing, people, y'all are so, awesome. So, avocado, avocado, avocado. I see olive, I see avocado, olive. avocado. I see olive. So I see far. olive. I see three olives. Oh, wow. uh, Rose is taking a nap. She'll join us soon. And you guys are right. We want Arthur T. Almacy. By the way, first, let me just 
show the camera to Art. Can you explain to everyone why we want avocado oil for this application and not olive oil? Avocado oil has a rather high smoke point, much higher than olive oil. So well, you don't want your oil to burn. Well said, well said. Thank you, Art. Everyone say hi to Art. And by the way, I think I see a super chat there, Art. Yeah. Do I see a super chat? We have a super chat. $4.99 from Quiet Prayerful Time, SoCal Girl here. First live stream with Flav City, but always watch your videos. Love you guys. Thank we you. love you too. Thank hey, raise you so your much. hand if you're a first timer and thank you for that super chat. It's a great way to support the channel. But you know the best way to support the channel? We don't really want your money. We want you to keep buying the cookbook. Uh, just go to Amazon, search Flav City. Hello, We're almost 900 reviews on the cookbook right now. Costco's about to expand their store list from 15 to 35. We're trending. We're trending in the right direction and it's exciting. So thank you for that, by the way. Somebody asked about my shirt. That's a caricature of Bill Clinton. It's from uh, Chewy's. People always ask in, that question. Uh, they always ask it. It says what? I did not have like... Tex-Mex with that woman. Okay, so my fries are nicely covered in the seasoning and the avo oil. I'm going to wash them off and then I'm going to carefully get my sheet tray out of the oven. I'm going to use one of my favorite items from the Flav City Amazon store. It's an oven glove, not a mitt, it's a glove because I used to burn myself on the rack. So this can handle heat up to like 800 degrees, but most importantly, it protects your wrist. So when I go here, Artur, Arturian, right? I'm not gonna burn myself. Now everyone, quiet on the set. This is for my ASMR family out there. Three, two, one. Show what I'm doing, Art, look. I'm getting the microphone so close, right? Don't that click, don't gets, click yourself. That gets the party started immediately. Then carefully, try to separate it into one even layer. You're really trying to jumpstart the caramelization, right? Jumpstart that party. And then the oven's hot. 450 is pretty fierce, right? I'm gonna get that going for about 30 minutes or so. Well, stop the presses. Art says something's going on. We have a $5 super chat from Greg Prophet, first time watcher. Give a shout out to my mom, Devon, who is watching. We are from Georgia. We thank you, Greg. Devon, Greg, first time watchers. Welcome to the Flav City Friday with Flaves. Thank you for generosity. We're having a great day. Breaking news. More Art Scissors breaking news here. Tom Dalton, $9.99. Tommy. Got sweet potatoes in the house. Going to cook them tomorrow. Tommy. Thank you, Tom. Tom's a huge supporter. Love to hear that, Tom. Thank you so much. Also a Twitter follower. Lots of first timers. Lots of old school fans. You guys, today, by the way, we hit 800,000 subscribers on YouTube. Here's the craziest thing about YouTube. It took us, I don't know, five years to get to 100,000. We went from 700,000 to 800,000 in less than two months. Everyone was telling me, just stick with it, keep doing it, it's a snowball effect. I didn't believe it back then, but whoo, jeepers creepers. Now our goal is to get to a million subscribers. I really wanna do it in Q1, so let's see if we can do it. Hey, I got a really pithy question for yes. you here. This is good, you clarify these rumors here. Sweet potatoes on keto? Wow, I like the way you kind of put that emphasis on the yeah, question there. I don't know there. if they uh, put it that way or not, but I, I assume. <laughs> so this recipe is not keto, it's paleo. So as you know, even though I have a keto cookbook, our household is a keto paleo household. And if you're new to the family, the reason why we do that is because we love keto and we love paleo because we think it's a diet and a lifestyle that is conducive to weight loss, anti-inflammation, and feel-good food. But we love um, all kinds of fruit. Desi loves to bake also with like uh, cassava flour and tapioca starch. You can't do that on keto, but you can do it on paleo. So the combination of the two, and we do low dairy also, really works for us, right? So good question. I think my, the way I intonated that, I think that was inspired by the other guys. Oh, really? In the, in the car with the FBI mug. Oh, yeah, I do remember, yeah. Female body inspector? <laughs> I think that's good. That sounded like Prevagen commercial. Jelly? Jelly? By the way, um, if you want this glove, go to amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. We built this site for the holidays on Amazon. Over 100,000 clicks happened last month. It has 85 of my favorite kitchen items from glove, uh, pots, pans, cutting board to knives. Everything there is what I use on a daily basis and you guys have been loving it. But if you ever have a question about what I have in the kitchen or what is the best teapot, Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. Okay, now Art, show this. Can someone tell me how they feel about organic ground turkey 
Brass. Oh, breaking news. Barbara Oliveira. Oh, Barbara. Super chat. Thank you. Thank you, so Barbara. Much. You're so sweet. How do you guys feel about ground turkey that's 99% lean and 1% fat? Comments, thoughts, emotions? Leave a comment down below. Because I'm going to start forming some burgers. Now, when I think about it, I'm like, ooh, it's a little too lean for me, right? That's what but, Bebop Cowboy thinks. But I, but I wasn't seeing Bebop, my homie, right? Um, what is the machine in the background? I'll tell you about that. It's a Thermomix. Too lean, too lean, too lean, too lean. Exactly. Needs the problem is they were out of organic ground turkey thigh at Whole Foods today. And we were only there. So I had to make the decision with Rose, Jesse, and Art there. Do I get conventional ground turkey thigh or get organic ground turkey breast? And I went organic ground turkey breast, even though I'm going to try my best not to overcook it. What would you have done? If you were in that situation with that harrowing choice there with all the pressure on your shoulders, would you have done the same? Because my problem with buying conventional turkey meat is that it's fed GMO grain. And I just don't want that in my body. So I was like, yo, my body is my temple and I'd rather have lean turkey that's organic and non-GMO than fattier turkey thigh that is GMO. So how do you guys feel about that? I would have done the same, says Ms. Pink. Uh, find another store. See, I just didn't have time for that. And I actually have frozen organic in my freezer, but we think about these ideas for the live stream literally like two hours before, right, Art? Pretty much. <clears throat> yes, add chopped mushrooms, not a bad idea. Non-GMO, amen that Shaheen temple. Shaheen in the house. Shaheen. Welcome, Shaheen. From Dubai, a longtime Flav City fan. I hope you're doing great. Happy New Year to you guys. Man, that, Taylor's here too. that Welcome. New Year celebration from the Burj Khalifa, I saw it on YouTube. Woo, Lord we're, mercy. That was we're amazing. We're a thousand people here, man. We're a, okay, guys, we're at a thousand people. Our record is 1,700. So, Art, what can they do to maybe break the record? Sharing is caring. Share That's right. this link with all your friends, yep. all your foes, <laughs> anyone you know, and even those you don't. Just take the link, paste it over to Instagram stories, your Facebook wall, and be like, yo, Bobby and Art, two of the coolest cats in Chicago, are hanging out on a Friday night, making turkey burgers and sweet potato fries that are paleo. Come on over, yo. Hey, can you say hi to Christine Duong? She loves all you do and got me into watching you. Well, Christine... Hello, and I love the fact that you're part of the Flav City family, and there's a lot of new timers here. Raise your hand or click that thumbs up right now because we're at 172 if you're a newcomer because I saw so many comments before I got it started up, from people saying that they're new. This is their first time, and that makes me excited. And I know there's a lot of new people because our channel has exploded this month. We've never had more viewership and subscribers than before. So I love the fact that we're growing and we're getting new people. So here it is, my patties are formed. Now I have a trivia question for you guys. Do I want these patties to be cold from the fridge when I cook them in my hot cast iron pan or do I want them to be room temperature? Leave a comment down below. I'll be very interested about this answer. Oh, the first time or See, that's why. We're growing like a weed and that's the way I love it. I like the people to really know what all the garbage and crud in the grocery store it lives will be changed breaking news coming from art ken leung sorry if i didn't get that right five dollar super chat question yes what are your thoughts on organic edamame mung bean pasta imported from china thanks for the awesome content and live streams peace thank yeah so you. thank or, you ken. yes thank you for the uh super chat very nice of you if you're gonna eat edamame it's got to be organic because otherwise it's non-gmo um i'm okay with it in moderation I don't love when things come from China because their enforcement of organic is not near to the standards we have. So I'd rather you buy like uh, something that, well, I don't know if soybeans are really produced too much here, but you got to trust sometimes, but more importantly, just do moderation. That's what I'd say. Now I saw a lot of, co whoa, breaking news. Dude. You guys are so generous. Dude. Dorothy, Ju Dorothy, twenty dollars. Love the show, and I am new. Dorothy, thank you. You're amazing, Dorothy. Me. Just for you, I'm gonna click my sandals three times here, and say, "There's no place like home. There's no place like oh, home." Oh, you're not doing the uh, barefoot thing today. I'm not. I'm not the barefoot count tonight. Um, check this out. I'm sipping on this drink. We made a video today about drinks at the grocery store. Bragg's is making an apple cider vinegar. This is apple cinnamon. It's sweetened with stevia. It only has four grams of sugar for half the bottle, raw apple cider vinegar in there, and it is 
so tasty. It's like a pumpkin or apple pie. It's amazing. Get this drink. It's good for your gut. Art, what? J5, $5 super chat. Hey man, found you through the collaboration you did with Delauer recently. Love this stuff. We love you. Thanks Thank so you, much. brother. That is awesome. That, so a lot of people said room temperature. And I knew y'all were gonna do that because when you're cooking a whole piece of turkey, chicken, beef, or pork, you do want it to be room temperature. But when you're cooking ground, you actually want it to be cold. Otherwise, it can fall apart. And when you have something like ground beef that has a lot more fat, that fat, when it gets warm, turns very gummy. So you actually want it to be cold from the fridge. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna find a spot safe in the fridge here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna pull out my salad and my buns for tonight and everything. And then we'll start making the salad, which I need some inspiration from y'all on what kind of dressing we should do. Okay, everyone wants to know if Rose is up yet? Is Rose up? No, no Rose is not up yet. She'll join us in, is there another alert? CB Everett, $4.99. Love you guys, and we have learned so much. Wow. Thank you. Thank and you. and thank Tiffany you. now. Tiffany threw a 99 cent holla at me. Wow. You guys are so. Wow, thank generous. you. Very, very nice. Thank you. What did you get the drink at? Nancy, I got this drink. I got both these drinks at Whole Foods. This is an Illinois based company. It's one of the only flavored waters that doesn't use natural flavors. They use uh, the peel oils and the fruit. And this was from Whole Foods. They also make a uh, Concord grape juice. You guys, this is a game changing drink because if you start the day with this or an apple cider shot, it's a gut detox or like a cleanse. This is like one of the most flavorful drinks that tastes sweet that is not bad for you at all. She kind of missed your message, so maybe you can say it again. All right, so I also just, before we start, I caramelized some onions. Now I have a question for you. When you're caramelizing onions, do you add salt in the beginning or salt at the end? While you guys answer that, something I like to do at the end just take a little shot of vinegar, and this is actually rice wine vinegar. It's a mild vinegar, it's not very acidic, and I really enjoy it, and a little bit is gonna cut through the richness of the onions, and just give it a little bite, which is lovely, because when you bite into that burger, especially a greasy, fatty burger, not like this turkey breast burger, it's really nice to have that contrast. End, 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 beginning, beginning, end, end. Art, can you explain to me why we salt it at the end, actually? Actually, I've heard it both ways. <laughs> What's my well, rationale? Well, well, because I always say, <coughs> hey, pull the water out so it get it out of the way. And uh -huh. then you can just start to cook the sugars without the water in there. Yeah, so I do it at the end because I don't want to pull out that water in the beginning. I don't want it swimming, right? This is not Finding Nemo. To keep, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I, you want to say that to the end. But Art might have a different way, but I tend to do it that way. Anytime you're caramelizing like vegetables, like mushrooms or something, you really want to do it at the end, especially mushrooms. They'll be swimming in that water like nobody's beeswax. Now, let's make a simple dressing. I think I want to make a maple and honey creamy dressing for my salad. I think we've done this a while back. If you guys have any better ideas, let me know. I just want it to be a simple salad, but imagine maple syrup, stone ground mustard, keto mayonnaise, uh, horseradish, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. What? Breaking news? We've got Amira, Amira Munkayo. Amira! My fave family, hashtag Flav City, NYC, when? Lots of love. It's Thank you, Amira. long overdue. Someone's got to invite us for a project in New York City. Amira, the ophthalmologist from New York, is a huge Flav City fan. Thank you, Amira. Shaheen says you should do a tahini dressing. Tahini? Shaheeni tahini? Shaheen. <laughs> yes. So let's put, this is some organic uh, baby lettuces here. Just gonna put that in there. I think we can do almost the whole thing right there. And then let's cut up some red pepper there. So well, make tahini dressing, healthy ranch. I don't think I have the stuff for healthy ranch right now. Making four meals out of your cookbook next week says big fat mama diaries. Do you ever use a Vitamix? No, I use my Thermomix. This thing is amazing. It was gifted to me by the company because I'm doing a, uh, uh, project with them right now. The Thermomix is like the Instant Pot in Europe. They love it there and it's amazing because you can cook and chop in there. It's crazy. I've been doing amazing recipes. I made almond butter in there. That was so creamy. You can make your homemade almond flour. I use it for every smoothie after the gym. It's 
crazy. You can literally cook a whole meal in there. So I'm just gonna dice up some red peppers. Any other recommendations for a dressing or what art? I've seen tahini a few Ta times. Tahini, interesting. Uh, Greek yogurt dressing with ranch spices. Mm. So ranch spices would be what? Garlic powder, onion powder, uh, dried chives maybe. Amir is saying maple syrup, mustard, and lemon. Yeah, Amir, you and I are thinking the same thing. I really Simple like that dressing. Simple with tarragon. I don't see a palauce. Yeah, I don't have any tarragon. I like what you're thinking. I'm in the mood for a creamy something because remember, we're using turkey breast, which is going to be very um, lean. So I'd like a little fat for my dressing. What is the cost per serving in this dinner? Let me think about that. See, actually, and another thing that's going to drive the cost of the meal up, turkey breast was way more expensive than turkey thigh, which to me is crazy because you're paying, obviously, for more meat. But I'd rather have the turkey thigh because there's more flavor and more fat. It's literally almost half the price for turkey thigh. So I spent for a one pound container at Whole Foods, which is expensive there. Sorry, Louise. 10 bones, right? So my guess is that per meal, it's going to be about, let's see, that's uh, $3 plus two, five. It's going to be about $7 a person-ish. Six to $7 a person. Okay, so we'll put that here. Should he and Sam make Greek yogurt dressing? Yeah, I don't have any Greek yogurt. Thank you, Jacob. Oh, breaking news from Arthur T. Almasy. Tiffany Bass, $9.99. Thank you for doing what you do. My kids and I love y'all. Single wow. mom, learning a lot to help my kiddos wow. and myself to stay healthy. Wow. Thank you so much. Tiffany, you're so generous. Single mom, I applaud you. I don't know how single moms do it. It's unbelievable. I mean, just doing rows with the two of us. I mean, we love it, but it's a lot of work. So single moms, unbelievable. Uh, Moral Mindset wants you to do a zero waste grocery store challenge. Yeah, you know what? only organic and healthy foods like you usually do. You have a few, you have a famous chef name, by the way. How ironic. That's <laughs> exactly. So a zero waste. So correct me if I'm wrong. A zero waste means you don't buy anything in plastic, right? You'd buy everything that's package free. But to do that, you have to buy all fresh stuff because anything... Like uh, in the middle aisles is packaged. If you're buying chicken, right, you'd have to buy it from the butcher so you're not getting the wrapping like I got. So correct me if I'm wrong, that's what I believe in my mind it is. So a little bit of walnuts in the salad, a little bit of red pepper. Check these out, Art. These are dried Bing cherries. Oh, hey, Newcastle, Australia in the house. Say again? Newcastle, Australia in the wow. house. Wow, by the way, I hope you're all right. Right. these images coming out of Australia, brutal. The wildfires and these poor koalas and animals. It really is heartbreaking. And I don't understand that the wildfire season is just beginning, so it's like, oh man, come on. These are dried Bing cherries. They're lovely. They have no phosphates or anything on there or sorbates. Really, really good. So I'll just add that for a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of tartness too. And then let's make that dressing. But how are we doing on the sweet taters here? We'll put the light on. All right, so far so good. I'm actually gonna kick the heat up to 475. So my first tip, right, was preheat the uh, sheet tray. <coughs> my, <coughs> my second tip, excuse me, is that when they're almost done, kick the broiler on. Breaking news says Art. Augustine, 499, <coughs> super chat. Bobby, you are the real woke. Been a fan for years, learned so much. Holla at your boy when you see him in the streets. Happy New Year. And then Jinsu Matthew, $10 super oh chat. God. Love your videos, very doable recipes. Brought your cookbook on keto recipes, life changing. Can you do a video on cleaning and prepping meats and veggies like people say mm -hmm. to roast chicken, etc.? Good thank point. Both of you. So Augustine, much. thank you so much. I've never been called woke before, but I appreciate that. Jinsu, yeah. So one thing I'll say about prepping veggies and meat. When you prep veggies, wood board is great. When you prep meat, never put it on wood because the bacteria can seep into the wood and breed, right? Always use a plastic cutting board for raw meats. Wash it with hot soapy water afterwards. I have all these cutting boards on my Amazon shop page. I, once again, I, I don't make much money off of that. I get a 7% commission, but amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. 
This is what you want, and you want the big cutting board, Jinsu, because when you're cutting through stuff for meal prep, you want it all on the surface, not falling off. Is there another super chat? Cindy and Fonte, 9.99. Love your channel. Thank oh you. my God. And you guys... another Kingslayer, five dollars. Are you Thank serious? You. I've learned so much from your channel. All thriller, no filler. That's what we try to do. Thank you both. Cindy and Kingslayer, thank you. Call you, call you Jamie Lannister. You're slaying the king, homie. Okay. Can so... we get a cough warning for those listening in headphones? <laughs> no, you know what? You'd be happy that I'm not doing more. I was sick from. December 31st till pretty much the begin no, till like uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. It was terrible, you guys. I got this virus. It started up here, went to here, to here. My God, it was brutal. Get okay. some Jack Daniels for that cough. I, I should, bro. Actually, no, instead of Jack Daniels, I'd rather get, there's a local Chicago, or say DeKalb, Illinois company. These guys make uh, small batch bourbon. I don't drink very often, but when I do, I like bourbon. These guys are in DeKalb, Illinois. They make uh, bourbon that is delicious, and the rye is really good, too. It's right by uh, Desi's alma mater of Northern Illinois University. Okay, let's take stock of where we're at. Sweet potatoes are roasting in the oven. We got uh, salad done. We got to make the dressing. We got to cook the burgers and make a... That's it. Art says breaking news. Oh, my God. RAA 499 super chat. Wow. I want to see Rose Cheeks. Love your channel, man. As soon as she wakes up, Thank she's going to come out here. Um, she was at the grocery store with us today. It was real fun. All right, check this is, out. Is Johnny coming for dinner tonight? Uh, not tonight. People are asking about Johnny. Where's Johnny been? Yeah, he's, well, he hasn't been here because I've been sick. We're using this for the buns. These are outer aisle. You might remember them from my uh, Amazon snack haul. They're cauliflower sandwich thins. They have one, is it one net carb here? Let's see. Yeah, one net carb per, right? Two minus one. But more important, look at the ingredients. Eggs, Parmesan cheese, real cauliflower, nutritional yeast. This is so clean, it's crazy. I wish the eggs were pasture-raised, but I don't care, this is amazing. Art saying, hold the front door, Bobby. Jenny Hole, $10, super chat. Love the food education, thank you. Are you guys kidding me? You're so thank molto you. generoso. Oh yeah, we got 1,200 people here. We can do better, right? Okay? I'll sign your cookbook. Quick right? timeout. The name. Take the uh, Tracy. Take the the link right from the live stream. Paste it over to Instagram stories and Facebook. Let's get up. Our record is seventeen hundred. We're having a great time, right? Only eighteen copies of your book left on Amazon. What? Let me Whoa. see that. That doesn't sound right. That's not true, actually. So Amazon had like a, an error, and uh, it says nineteen left in stock. That's weird. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's wrong, but oh my God, there's 873 ratings. You guys, we've been on Amazon since May, so we're talking about six, seven months. That is crazy, you guys. And like I said earlier, the cookbook is doing so well at Amazon, at uh, Costco, that they're expanding the store list to 35 or more stores, and Art says breaking news. Gia Rodriguez, 1999, Super Chat. Wow, Gia. Amazing. And a dancing- Dancing emoji? Uh, dancing, what, what is that, What pair? is that, a pair? Wow, thank you, Gia. Awesome. thank you, Gia. Amazing. Too kind. So, so guys, I don't know the expanded, expanded store list yet. Keep checking your local, local Costco, but keep hitting up the Amazon. Just go on Amazon and search Flav City. That book is literally blowing up. When Desi and I and Art were making that book, in this kitchen and in the second bedroom that's now uh, Rose's bedroom, we had no idea. I knew it would do well. I didn't know it would do this well, so it's amazing. It looks like the sun is shining through your window. How is this possible? Because Where's... it's always sunny in Chicago. Don't you know that? Like when you're doing good things in the kitchen, the Lord sends the sun rays through the light. It says, amen, the people must see the burrs. Why don't you use lemon oil? Olive oil, lemon zest, lemon, red chili, stone ground mustard, says Shaheen. For the dressing? Because I want a creamy dressing. So I'm preheating my pan now. This is my beautiful. Can we just give it up for a stove? This is an enameled cast iron pan. Look at that beautiful enameling there. I'm slowly preheating, heat, preheating it because as much as I love cast iron, it's a bit slow to get going. But once it gets going, it distributes the heat so well and it holds on to that heat so well. Art, are you telling me something? Bernie L, $5 super chat. Please keep it up. Hashtag 2020. Flame Amazing. City. Thank you, Bernal. Thank you, Nikki's a What's new up, subscriber. Claps, hey, Claps are out. you guys loving the uh, uh, daily videos for the month of January? We've done a video every day. I think we're gonna have enough for every day this month. Um, the Flea City shorts during the week and the big ones on the weekend. Um, I love it, right? I think it's great. So if you think it's too much, you let me know, but I think I'm having a great time with it. 
All right, the burgers are just gonna take a second to cook because they're so lean. Let's make that dressing, y'all. Let's do it. How happy are we that Costco finally has that, right? Sir Kensington. Sir Kensington for Essex, England, Without right? Without the sugar. Hey, guys, do you guys actually think they took the sugar out because of us? Part of me likes to think that we had something to do with it. But man, this deal, there's no point in making avocado oil mayonnaise even more, anymore. Speaking of sugar and products, Finley, do you remember the old SNL commercial, Hegley and Weish, the British toothpaste? It had like five teaspoons of sugar. And look what two. I finally do. If you guys, by the way, if you're new to the channel and you don't follow me on Instagram, head over there, Flav City on Instagram. We cook stories every single night. It's really fun. This is the Top Chef bourbon barrel aged uh, maple syrup. I finally bought the alcohol pour spout so I don't have that issue anymore. It used to run down like crazy. Now it doesn't do it anymore. So maple syrup, check. Stone ground mustard, which I love because it has the mustard seeds in there, check. Mayonnaise, uh, horseradish. All right, what's going on? John Fellow with a $5 <clears throat> super chat. Keep it up Keep, in the oh, dancing pairs. Oh, I love these. doing curls us. like me at the gym like this. Urgh, Thank, urgh. You, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny boy. You're awesome. This is so much fun. I love it. Okay, uh, what else goes in that dressing? Salt, pepper. Da -da. Oh. Cheers from Houston. Rick Lopez. Good Vin to see you back. Good little bit of vinegar. Hey, let's open up a new bottle of extra virgin olive oil. Got this. Ooh, this is from... That is some fancy maple syrup. It is, dude. Total. Ooh, this is Greek. Opa! We're going to do Greek. What else can go in this... Uh, What's up, Taylor? In this uh, dressing here. Let's think. We got sweet. We need a little bit of heat, right? So just... You know what? We're going to omit the heat because it's not good for Desi's breast milk. Lemon juice would be nice. Shaheen says you should send her some avocado mayo because they can't get it. In oh, my God. Shaheen, if I come to visit... Yeah, man do down. That. Man down. This is uh, Rose's dinner for tomorrow night. Grass-fed lamb chops from uh, California. Yeah, if I come to Dubai, which I'm waiting for the invitation, I will bring a case full of this. Oh, it's pretty heavy, though. It might get expensive. Um, dressing. Let's make this. I'm holding off on making the burgers to the last second because they, uh, they're going to cook so quickly. This is Rose's dinner tonight, by the way. It's an organic acorn squash. We're going to mash this up with some uh, breast milk and maybe a little bit of avocado. Bl buzz it up in the baby bullet, and that's her dinner. Auckland, New Zealand in the house. Oh, awesome. I've never Welcome. been there. Okay, so. Good day to you. We'll do a little bit of avo mayo. Okay, timer's going off. Let's check. It's not done, but I'll come back here. Let's check our sweet taters, right? So I'll take my stabbing knife here. Ew. Oh, they look pretty good. So this is going really well. See the color on here? Now, are they done? Stab, stab. They're done, right? So here's what I do. I put them back in and I take the broiler. Now I say bake, go off, broil, go on. And we'll do pretty high. And then I'm just going to toss them. And that's how we get them crispy. They're never going to get as crispy as Idaho potatoes because there's not as much starch, but we're going to do the best we can. Oh, we still got to make secret sauce too. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. So let's hurry up. Let's make this dressing and then let's make a secret sauce. So a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit. This is my first time actually using the pour spot. Let's see if it works. Oh my God. So satisfying. Look at that. Woohoo! No more mess. Art, are you joking me? John Fella is doing it again. $5 super chat. Keep it up. And that guy is still doing bar barbell curls. Is that John Fella or Brian Fellas? Dumbbell. Dumbbell curls. Sorry. <laughs> uh, John Fella. I love that. His form is not very good. You don't really want to jerk your back when doing bicep curls. That's hey, how at Johnny. Least he's doing something. That's how Johnny P does it at the gym, but it's all good. All right, a little bit of horseradish for heat. I know Art likes the horse part of that. A little bit of stone ground mustard. Take a look at this, you guys. This is stone ground mustard. I love it because there's brown and yellow mustard seeds in there, which adds some texture. Whoa, what's going on now, Art? Amira! Amira 499. I made a similar salad with pomegranate and sunflower seeds. Just delicious with the avocado oh, mayo. Oh, thank you, Amira. Mia, I think I'm making that salad for my lamb. Mamma mia, que paso. Thank you so Amira much. Amira just inspired me because I have a California pomegranate begging to be spanked into my salad there. So we're going to do that. Uh, a little bit of salt. Always season your dressing. 
and season your salads with salt and pepper. So a little bit, oh, a little bit of peps. All right, you like of the pepper? I like of the pepper. Wow, so much is going on here. H-E-B, <laughs> H-E-B finally brought back malk. It was oh, seriously? For two months. And Enrique Martinez Dominguez, four ninety nine super chat. What's up, guys from Kansas City? Amazing videos. I've been wow. from you guys in all your grocery hauls. I would love to see more new keto videos. Thank you so Enrique, much. Enrique, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Babe, we have so many new people on the stream. It's crazy. Audrey, so many new family. Audrey, we're not only doing the shout outs for people giving money. No, 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 no. There's no. so many of these coming in. If someone no, no, does no. that, we're definitely going to read it because it's, you can't miss it. No, we don't do that. Face, Come on. But we're trying to read as many as we can here. Salvador Bentley, just while you're, well, just while I'm reading your message, Salvador came in, 499 Super Chat. Shout out, Bobby and Art. Absolutely love your amazing channel. Come to Detroit for Review 2020. Hashtag Game Changer Detroit, Michigan. I've actually Thank never you. been to Detroit. I'd like to go there. Um, hey, you guys got to remind me to check these fries because they're going quick. Malk is the best plant based. Someone, literally, oh, there's so many comments, you know. Someone remind me, I'm just going to set a timer. Another here. super chat. Candice. Candice. $5. Great to catch you live. Ah. Looking forward to a healthy year planning to make a new keto or low carb recipe each week to build my repertoire of meals. Wow, Thanks. Candace. What we'll, episode of Guys Grocery Games were you on? I have to look it up. It's from the, it's called the uh, Family Food Feud. And it's from like four or five years ago. That dressing is delicious and needs a little more acid. And then we got to make a really quick uh, secret sauce, right? You go to like Burger King, McDonald's, they have a secret sauce. They use high fructose laden ketchup and natural flavors and crap like that. Well, we make it all natural. To have you back here in the new year. So we're going to actually leave that out. We'll put these over here. We're done with that. By the way, did I see the pour spout? Actually, you know what? It's kind of leaking out the top a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, no. From the side? Sheila Rubino, my first live chat, Illinois girl living in the Georgia world. <laughs> that was funny. I like that. Uh, Audrey wants you to do more videos with Thomas Delauer. Yeah, next time I go to LA, we'll do some more faux show. Where's your little one? She will enjoy the salad too. Uh, I agree, and I see my little one right there. So guys, see what's going on here? We're getting some really nice color here in living color. You can do what you want to do in living color. Hey, Rose, you want to join Daddy in the kitchen? Yeah. All right. Let's get Rose over here. So let's just toss these up a little bit. We're literally minutes away from these being done, right? We just want to get some really nice First time out. live with y'all from San Diego. San Diego. I haven't been to San Welcome, Diego Marina. in like 20 years. I'd love to come back. I haven't been there in like never. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do another. I'm going to turn the Maybe boiler down. they're not okay for keto. This is a paleo dinner. That's tonight. a paleo. The, the burger is, the fries are not. Audrey, Bobby's in Chicago. 25. All right. Rose, everyone. Say hello to the seven-month-old beauty, Whoa. Rose Honey. Let me grab her real quick. Hey, Rose. Want to join the party? Everyone's been asking, where is Rose? We're not here to see Bobby. We're here to see Rose Honey. Everyone say hello. Here she is. Baby Rose. Baby Rose. Tonight's weigh-in night. Last Friday night, you were how, long? how much, Rose? You were 20 pounds, 5 ounces. Tonight, who knows, right? Oh, she's such a joy, you guys. And she's finally sleeping better. If you're following me on Flav City Instagram, you'll see that uh, she was sleeping horribly. The first two nights of sleep training did not go well. The last two nights have been great. So Rose, maybe after a couple more nights, she's watching herself on the computer. Look at her. <laughs> she's like, wow, I'm on the computer right there. Maybe a couple more nights. Any moms or dads out there who know about sleep training, it's been tough. So Rose, I'm going to put you right here, my sweet pea. And let's give you something. Maybe mommy can bring over something to play with, all right? Nice sweet, huh? Hey, John, it's a KitchenAid uh, stove. Okay. Yeah, it's a KitchenAid Smart Oven. Uh, how's this doing here? Fries are looking absolutely money. Let's make that secret sauce really quick. So, secret sauce rose is gonna be beer number two for Finley. I just saw. 99 super sauce <laughs> for Finley. Nice. Thank you so much, man. So, secret sauce, y'all, is easy. It's ketchup, it's uh, mayonnaise, it's relish. This one unfortunately has natural flavors because I can't find one that doesn't. Um, it is lemon juice. You know what I also do sometimes? I just, it's so funny I picked this up. I put a shot, like a, literally a shot of bourbon in there and it is Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. sauce. 
and it's salt and pepper, and that's it. Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. You know what? The Worcestershire sauce, I see a couple ingredients I don't like in here. So you know what? We're gonna bypass that and use tamari instead. I've had that bottle of Worcestershire for probably three years from Costco. I remember buying it, and I'm like, do I really want this? So we got that beautiful uh, sugar-free paleo keto ketchup from uh, Primal Kitchen. Yeah, Sherry, how those chicken chips are good. Hey, by the way, if you live in uh, Texas, they now only in Texas have a special run on Primal Kitchen vegan mayonnaise. Uh, no, uh, the... Uh, Vegan Ranch at uh, Costco until February 6th. Amazing deal. Should I read this next super chat, Bobby? I don't, is it from Dirks? <laughs> I think I saw. $2 super chat. <laughs> Dirk, Dirk, you're Dirk, a you're, Dirk, I'm not, I'm not even reading it. I'm not gonna read it. You're, you're a meanie, Dirk. If you want us to read- Just kidding. He gave the money, I'll read it. Do the Bears play on Sunday? <laughs> asking for a friend. <laughs> I'm actually rooting Thank for the Packers, to be 100%. True, I actually like the Packers, and if the Bears are out, it's, it's really, to me, that's America's team. I'm rooting for the Packers. You, oh, whoa, 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 you called the Packers America's team? Do you want me just to end this live stream right now? <laughs> ahead of, ahead of uh, the Dallas? Cowboys. Nah, I don't think so. All right, so ketchup, mayonnaise, salt. Such a pleasant and well-behaved baby. She is very, very well-behaved. Right, Rose? Pepper. Oh, look who's here, too. Hello. The family is complete. Hello. Desi's here. Everyone say Happy New Year to my love, Desi. We got Rose. Here. Rose, is this the best live stream ever? Are we having so much fun? Huh? <laughs> uh, she Mommy loves it. Your dinner. Ooh, I told y'all she was getting dinner. A yeah. little bit of uh, relish in there. A little bit of, just literally, a swig, a shtickle of bourbon. There. Amira says hi, Desi. Hey guys. Knocks, uh, and I don't a little. Want to say when? I'm sorry. A little says bit. Hi too. Perfect. A little bit of tamari. Okay, let me Walk, see what's going on with these fries here. Fries are looking so good. Whoa. Little Patriots, even though we lost already. Yeah, Patriots did not look very good. I was kind of disappointed. All right, so let's mix that up. And right, this is secret sauce, right? It looks just like it. It's a little chunky monkey from the relish. I'll check it for seasoning. And Art has breaking news again. Jennifer Allen, 1999. Thanks for helping me lose over 100 pounds. 100 pounds, Jennifer? Way wow. To go. Thanks for Amazing. The you guys, that's why I keep preaching everyone. Keto and paleo is not a fad diet. Keto paleo is a lifestyle that is guaranteed to help you drop pounds, reduce inflammation, feel good, and get off diabetes medication, all that crud. It's guaranteed. To help you and if you work out with that 100 pounds plus just like jennifer right rose is that amazing she did it she did it yeah all right this is you done the yeah because desi was eating a bunch of carbs after uh birth to help with uh, milk production and then it stopped helping but she gained some weight and we just put her back on keto paleo and she slowly lost the weight and she's feeling great all right guys these are yeah, her breast milk is not only great, it's delicious. I can verify that. All right, these are done. Can we get a round of applause? Because it's very hard to get that kind of color on sweet taters, right? Now, <clears throat> if you want to like zest them up and put some smoked paprika, some cumin on there, hey, you do whatever you want, right? You be you. So now we can actually start to cook the burgers and I have to bake those cauliflower sandwich thins. What does it say here? 425 for seven to 10 minutes. So let's bake these. Y'all having fun by the way? This is a heck of a way to start 2020 with a live stream like this. I mean, golly, right? Hey, I think Ryan put it best. Well, at least the Bears can't lose this weekend. <laughs> well said, Ryan. And Adrian Escobar, $5 super chat. I love a sweet chili sauce on my chicken slash turkey burgers, but this sauce looks amazing as well. Hey, you know what? Hey, thank you. Flav City has a homemade uh, sweet chili sauce. You put uh, in a hot pan agave nectar, rice wine vinegar, and sriracha. It's delicious. And thank you for that. Yo, Adrian, thank you. Check these out, Art. These are the buns here. Maureen really likes the shorter videos. Uh, yeah, people are liking them. 
Uh, those would be for the weekly videos. The longer videos for, for the weekend because I make more money for those. If you make 10 uh, minute or longer videos, you actually make a lot more Desi, money. Jesse, Dirk's asking if you'll post your cauliflower pizza crust. It's posted. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's on the channel. You're maybe talking about the other pizza crust, Dirk, no? There's two. There's one with cauliflower and there's one with broccoli and kale. So these are like a mini version of pizza crust. And you don't want to put them on a sheet tray. It's a really cool company out of LA and uh, it's delicious. So now we're gonna cook these turkeys. I have the, uh, the pan going over medium heat, but it's really been generating a lot of heat now for like 10 minutes, so now it's ready to go. Art is making a big face here. Michelle C with a $49.99 super chat and that pear is like flying all over the Michelle, on a Michelle my bell, wow. wow. First of all, I love that. Look Thank at you. this emoji here, babe. It's flying all over the place. Oh my God. Amira, $1.99 super chat, going to Chicago soon. I would love to cook with you. Ooh, Amira, nice. You let us Thank know when you're coming. You. When I see that rocket, Michelle, it reminds me of uh, that, bro what's the, the Tracy Morgan thing? Uh, rocket. Uh, rocket. I'm, I'm taking, taking a rocket. <laughs> That's for you, Shaheen. She wanted to close it. Ah, uh, nice. Ah, that was amazing. Thank you. Uh, eating turkey kebabs from meal prep recipe and watching this live. Jinsu, that's amazing, right? Hey, why did Rose look so scared? Sometimes a lot of loud noises make her scared. Right? You're not scared. Yeah, she's very groggy when she wakes up, which is totally normal. Is this recipe in your book? Um, yes, the turkey burger recipe is in the book with cloud bread buns. Check By this way, out. We're at 1.3 thousand viewers okay, right now. I'm excited. People so, share them. Let's, we still got time here. So if we go to the turkey, it's not just for Thanksgiving chapter on 177. Shaheen says hi. Desi. Hi, Shaheen. How's it going? So here we go. Yeah. Hey, Shaheen, is everyone healthy in the family finally? Candace so, V, $5 super chat. Glad you're there, Desi. Wanted to tell you I like your hair at this length. Ah, people are loving the hair. So look, in the book, double Thank turkey you, cheeseburger on cloud bread bun. Unbelievable, only 5.3 grams of carbs per uh, bread, per uh, sandwich. You guys, once again, the cookbook, which is doing amazing because of you. Every recipe has a photo, yum. Every recipe has macros. Every recipe has detailed instructions, fan feedback, and more. I mean, who doesn't want to eat this kind of food? This is why people are losing weight and feeling great because you don't have to Oh my God, my favorite recipe in the book. You don't have to sacrifice anything. It's feel good food. Christine's Costco has sold out of your book. Oh, I love to hear that. I hope they get them back in. Where do you get the nutritional information? I calculate it myself and it's a pain in the butt. I don't trust these sites where you plug in recipes. Trust me, they're not accurate. That was so much work for me to do in the book, but I knew it was so important for you guys. Many tech so once again, if you want to find it on Amazon, just search Flav City. It ships worldwide. Doesn't matter where you're at. So, we're putting grass-fed, you guys know I love this ghee, check it out, Art. the uh, organic grass-fed ghee from Thrive Market. That's gonna be our fat of choice. Now, we have to be very careful, our Turian 5000, because look, once again, y'all, we're using white breast turkey meat, which I almost never do. Rose, these turkey are very, very lean, right? So we have to be careful not to overcook them, because they don't have as much fat. We love fat, right? We love it, and these don't have it. So, I'm gonna add a good pinch of salt and some pepper. Like we said earlier, ideally you would use ground turkey thighs, but I had the conundrum at the market that they didn't have organic ground turkey thighs. They had conventional well, or organic good. turkey breast, and I said I want organic because I don't want GMO-fed turkey in my belly. Welcome. All right, come back here, my friend. Welcome from McKinney, Texas. Christine is back. Oh. She's back, I love it. All right, now, my pan. Can you see a little smoke coming off there, Art? Oh, I do. Right? So now, we'll take the burger, we'll put it away, go like this, away from you. That way it doesn't splatter Art. in Art's face. Right? Ow, away, my hand away from Art. Now, what I like to do, you guys, is twofold. We seasoned only one first side of the burger. Welcome. So first thing we have to do is season the other side of the burger. Right? And then a little bit of pepper. Any more signed books? Um, I'm out. I'll have them for next week's live stream. Then take your spatula and just push down a little bit. You know what? Take your hand, push down, make a little dimple in the middle. That way it stays flat. I learned that trick from Bobby Flay a long time Ask ago. Away, Kylie. And then I'll go around art and I'll grab my splatter guard. 
so I don't make a mess. The cutest baby that Theodore has seen. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Splatter guard is a must, you guys. El Paso in the house. Welcome. It's a must. Hey, y'all having a good time? This is fun, right? We got rose honey in the house. We are you are having at fun? Um, 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 um. 1.4 thousand right? people here. We're having a good time. We're cooking on Friday night in early January. We're making healthy recipes. Um, 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 right? We're having a great time. Where else would people want to be? This is where you want to be. Um, hum, 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 hum. Um, 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 um. I love. I need some water break. Woo! You're still feeling good up time. Best way to spend a Friday night. I agree, Jonathan Farrell. I, where else would you want to be? Hey guys, also, I have a, a bowl of salad here. We talk about this. Salad and ingredients are bland. Just because my dressing is seasoned, you have to also season the salad. So a little bit of unrefined salt in there. And people are like, oh man, you're using too much salt, Bobby. Number one, I'm using raw salt. So it won't spike your blood pressure as much as processed salt, like table salt or like a Morton's kosher salt. But I want my food to taste delicious. And by seasoning it every step of the cooking process, that is the only way to do it. Look at that art. Wow. Right? So let's take this, dip it in the secret sauce. Dusty, I'll let you be the taster here. Oh, wow. Mm. Marilyn wants you to spank the pomegranate. Oh, thank you. You, you just want to see me spank, don't you, girl? Well, that's for the... Uh, Buns. The buns are done. Mm -hmm. Beer number three. Yes, sir. Yes. Hey, yo, Joseph. What do you think that was? Okay. I don't even need to know. Only one person can drink four to six beers on a live stream. Look at these guys. Look, now they got nice and toasty. Guten Abend, Andreas Gumperl. Welcome again. And now to keep the fries Fruity warm, juice. I turn the oven off. I'm just going to keep them in there. Sorry, I'm right? trying to remember my German. And I don't know it very well. But Beautiful. A little bit of pomegranate. So wash your pomegranate with hot soapy water. You don't know where it's been. You don't know who's touched it. You don't want to get listeria or anything like that. Then this stuff stains, right? So I'm going to take its own. Douglas S. Five dollars super chat. Thank you, Douglas. Douglas. Um, is everyone really, really generous tonight, or is it just me? My God. Don't do this on a nice cutting board. I know people have money after Christmas. Hey, the economy's doing well, right? I've seen good numbers out there. Okay, so we'll just dry that and then take a big spoon like this and then spank it. Some people, I've seen videos on Instagram where people cut a hole in the top. You can do that too, but I just find by doing this, the aerials or the pomegranate seeds fly out of the membranes and it really is just as easy and it's pomegranate season now, so you gotta, you gotta get it while the going's good. Um, Shaheen said you forgot her anniversary. Oh, that's right. When was that again, Shaheen? Oh, January. Alicia Palou. Wow. It's Friday. That, same amount as uh, Dusty and I, right? Now you guys are married uh, nine years, correct? So pomegranate's over here. Didn't you already add raisins, Shaheen said? Uh, yeah, but this is not just sweet. It's also crunchy and a little sour, Shaheen. So, Art, right, come back here. I know for a fact it's time to flip these hamburguesas. 30th of December. Ah, oh wow, great timing. So this should have a really nice color. Oh, in living color. In living color. Oh, you can do what you want to do. All right, now I'm going to come to the fridge. I'm going to grab cheese, as Art says. And it's going to be... I'm where sure is Rescue that? Rangers, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna use vegan cheese. If you're gonna eat vegan cheese, this brand is by far the best. It's called Voix Life. Kylie, sorry, there's so many comments. Please ask again. So check it out, Art. You gotta get the cheese on early because nothing bothers me more than cheese that doesn't melt. And plant-based cheese doesn't always melt quite as well. And Art, why don't you zero in on this brand here real quick so people can see it. I'm not gonna do the ice cube trick. I will. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will because, because the turkey is very lean. 
So have you, raise your hand if you're an old school Flav City fan and you see me drop an ice cube in a hot pan when I put the burgers in there with cheese, because the condensation actually helps the cheese melt. I think that's a good idea because we need help with the plant-based cheese and it could add a little extra moisture to the uh, burgers. Where so- Where do you buy that cheese? Say again? Where do you uh, Whole buy Foods that? is the only place I see it, right? It's, it's one of the better ones. So what I'm gonna do is get a lid. Where would be a lid for this guy? Rose, are you having fun? I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Mm, don't stop her now, y'all. And mommy's making your dinner? I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, Rosie. Mm -hmm. uh, Christine in uh, McKinney says, who has their Christmas tree still up while sipping on your keto wine? Oh, nice, Christine. Yeah, ours is up too. Although I want to throw it away this weekend. Where can I find... Cindy Rusi says, if I were Mercury. a lid, uh, the lid for this uh, thing, so I can put the ice cube in here. Andreas with an interesting question. Yes, could use you know. bone broth for steaming. Maybe adds flavor. Uh, well, it's not a bad idea, but I have this out already. Not a bad idea. You know what? I actually love that idea. Andreas with the call. Bone broth me ASAP. Oh, that's careful. Oh. 1,500 viewers. 1,800? 1,500. Oh. People so share this thing. We still check it out. We'll here. take a little bit of bone broth here. We'll throw that in. And then because I can't find a lid, I'm going to go over here. I'll use a sheet tray. Exactly. Yes, you read my mind. Just take this and throw it on top. Yes, Taylor, it's the mic. The and mic the pack. steam is going to create a nice environment for the cheese to melt. You guys want to see you, what I'm making? You like the juice. Yeah. This will be Rose's dinner over here, y'all. Yeah, this is uh, acorn squash Talk baked my mic. in the. This is acorn squash baked in the oven. A little bit of coconut oil Ooh. and some milk. Breast milk, the finest. So now I'll blend it up. So it's good fat. It's a complex carbohydrate. It's really yummy stuff. In the baby, right. the baby bullet. Woo. What's up, Dottie? Welcome. Okay. And then when those burgers come out, I'll put them right here. Dinner's almost ready, young lady. Huh? Are you ready for dinner? Mommy's gonna ooh, hook you up with a nice dinner. Wow. She knows when dinner's ready. Yeah, when she sees that blending, she knows. Okay, Art, come back yonder. We don't want to overcook that turkey, right? That so, is correct. This is about as, the best we can do, you guys, for vegan cheese. And I probably should have put more on, but it looks really, really good. Right? It's done. Oh my God, it tastes so good. Christy Johnson was at Costco and Whole Foods today and kept imagining us popping out. <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't believe how many comments I get from people who are like, I was at Whole Foods and I felt like you were in my head. I'd love to hear that. And it's like, I was in your head. Come on, those guys, those look pretty good. For white meat turkey burgers, I mean, cheapers creepers, right? That's nice. Joseph Finley, almost time to hashtag feed art. It is almost time. Wow, this is fun. A lot of work, I wasn't expecting this, but as long as we hang out with the Flav City family, I'm good with it. Hmm. Woo! All right, let's address the salad. Andrea says, put the broth and the onions together. Well, the broth is gone. See, okay. that's, that's all gone. Onions are good to go. You know, that's, there's nothing left in there. Now my cast iron pan did the trick, and I think all we have to do now, let's think. What was the seasoning you put in the burgers? She just, just salt and pepper, that's it. When I make burgers, I'm a traditionalist. I don't like to put like red onions and peppers in there. I keep it super duper simple. Okay, so. Why don't you ever make chicken bone broth? Um, we do. We do. Uh, that's what she used right now. I like the beef bone broth because I know it's grass fed where it's very hard to find pasture raised uh, chicken bones. We just love the uh, beef bone broth. All right, let's make some food here. So salad is seasoned. Let's take our dressing here. You know, I don't want to dress the whole thing because I don't want it to get wilty. So Douglas I just want to do- a dollar super chat. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you, Appreciate amigo. That. I just want to do a little bit because this is the kind of salad that if it sits too long, 
it'll get a little wilty. So let me just toss the ingredients here. And then I'll put a little bit right here. And we'll put a little bit of dressing in there. Sweet. Do one little extra shot of olive oil. It's such an easy salad, you guys, but it, it's really refreshing. And then we'll just toss it up. Beautiful. Put that here. That's a lovely salad, you guys. I'm, I, I gotta say so myself. That, that's a lovely salad, right? Kylie, cool. I was looking for your question and I couldn't see it. And by the way, can someone tell me why I'm actually resting my burgers for a couple minutes? I mean, it's turkey, it's hot and juicy. Why should I not cut into that right now? Okay, I mean, I, see it now. I don't want it to go cold, do I? So Kylie's been asking this and I've missed it every Kylie, time. Kylie, could you me? I have a few health issues. I was wondering, will keto help? I have gastroparies and low potassium and I'm wondering, could it help with my health issues? Um, so I don't know what those two issues are. I can pretty much tell you that the odds are yes. I mean, keto is good for everything. Uh, it's, a, it's a low carb, moderate fat style diet. When I do it, it's great at reducing pretty much everything. There's really no side effects that I know. It's, it's, so it's all about reducing inflammation and uh, removing those foods that cause right. um, irritation, inflammation. And what are those foods? Grains. Grains one. and sugar. Grains and sugar. Um, so if you have some gastrointestinal issues, yes. uh, just getting rid of grains and sugar will greatly improve your digestion. Thank I guarantee you, because I've experienced it. Agreed. Cindy, is that a super chat? Cindy and Fonte for, for Rose. Rose. 9 Rose, <coughs> Thank it's you two so new much. smocks for you, my dear. <laughs> How awesome is that? Okay. Come in here. <clears throat> okay, dinner for Rose. Bottom bun goes right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we'll take a little bit of our perfectly when caramelized onion. Back? Uh, we don't know yet. We're trying to figure that out. Oh. <coughs> I can certainly use her. People are asking. Then we'll take a little bit of our secret sauce on top like that. You guys are going to love these buns. If you can't get them at uh, Whole Foods, just uh, go to their website. It's called Outer Isle. <clears throat> and then we'll just kind of cut this sucker in half. How does that look, you guys? Right? For a white meat turkey, it looks pretty darn spot on to me. Okay, then we'll do that. When are you doing a Chipotle review? Um, we're actually doing a project for Chipotle early next week. So how cool is this? Art and I normally go to Chipotle on shoot days and they saw me tag them on Instagram. So they reached out and they wanna do a campaign for the Paleo Bowl that you can only order on their app. And so I'm filming a couple videos next week and they're paying me and it's gonna be on Instagram. So how cool is that? I thought that was really nice of them. Okay, let's. Put this here for a second. Sherry Howe, you're from Morton Grove, if I remember correctly, right? Oh, good memory, Art. Art. Wow. Well, this one is actually I think she said for earlier. Art. I'm so. trying to keep track of these things as much as I can. Art's got a great head. memory, wow. Okay. Or was Chicago. You either said Chicago or Morton Grove. Huh. I can't remember. Hey, they're both pretty close, no? Not true. Okay. And then Art, punch in on this. You guys, give me some love for that beautiful turkey burger. It's a low carb turkey burger on a cauliflower thin Morning bun, right. caramelized onions, uh, beautiful secret sauce, sweet taters, and a beautiful salad like that. I mean, shut the front door. I mean, this is what eating's all about. And this is why people I think really love our recipes because when you could eat like this, like these recipes from the cookbook, this is basically a cookbook recipe minus the fries, right? You don't feel like you're sacrificing anything. Gone are the days of diets where it's like, oh man, I have to eat chicken breast and broccoli. It's boring, it's restrictive. It makes me feel like I'm not eating the food I love. Well, when you can eat the foods like this that you love and still lose weight and feel great and actually get off of like medications and stuff like that, it's a win-win, it's so easy. It's just about knowing what goes in your body, but when you go out to eat to most places, they're basically poisoning you, right? You don't know all the crap that's in there, which is why you really have to take control of the food you make, which is why we do these recipes, and buying groceries in the store, which is why we make those videos too. Once you master both, no stopping you. I call it Neo. You are Neo now in the matrix. You see everything. You're like this, dodging the bullets. They can't get you, right, babe? 
They can't catch you. All right, hashtag feed Uncle Farturo. Let's play swap. Art, and you will come in and eat some food. I made Art the prettiest plate of food this side of the Mississippi. Happy Everyone New say Year. hi to Art, by the way, if you haven't seen him yet. Happy New Year, hey, Rose, all. by the way, how's your mash? How sweet? Is it tasty? It looks really yummy. Is it sweet? By the way, pretty good hand-eye for uh, spoon coordination for a seven-month-old. Look at that. Desi loads the spoon for her, and she's like, I got it, Mom. I got it. Ah, you're so cute, Rose. Yeah, somebody earlier questioned whether I was really behind the camera. They thought I was an imposter. So <laughs> that's what they said. There's no imposter. So you haven't tasted this yourself yet. I have not tasted it. I'm actually jonesing Here we go. to try this. Ooh, juicy. Get this in your belly. <laughs> it's good. Describe the flavors Delicious. like a chopped jug, please. The sauce, man. The turkey's cooked perfectly. The sauce is delicious. It's zippy. It's tangy. I'm going to try a fry. What's up, Rosh Rajesh, my man? Now, is there any concern about the uh, turkey burger being too dry because it's white meat? No. No? Mm -mm. You hear that, Rose? Rose, we Amen. nailed it. We nailed it, Rose. I mean, guys, not to overcook turkey is very hard to do, and we're very, very happy that we uh, nailed that. Very happy about it being very good. Yes, Marilyn, that is correct. So good, Art couldn't speak. Huh. Desi, you try a bite of this on camera real quick, the other half. Exactly, uh, the big fat mama. Correct. Mmm. Wow. Proper. So juicy. <laughs> I love the secret sauce on top. Thank you. And the onions. Thank you, Taylor. Delicious. Wow. Caramelized onions. Wow, babe. That's money. Really? Wow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aaron, yes, I will do that. I'm going to do diabetes-related food hauls, inflammatory, FODMAP, all that good stuff. All right. All right. Delicious. I'll take the camera. Yes, sir. It's awesome. Mm. Oops, Which is the one you bit out of, babe? This one? Mm -hmm. Desi is Bulgarian, Dollface8788. Answer your question. Wow. Sometimes you gotta pat yourself on the yeah. back. That is so good. I've never had white meat turkey that juicy before. Yeah. Totally. Bananas. So juicy. Bananas. No one tried to sell it. Exactly. Where'd you get the cauliflower and buns? Those buns. Perfect. Outer aisle. Um, some Whole Foods have it, but you can order online. No one tried the salad, so I'm going to go into this one. Salad's gorgeous, guys. Mmm. Not only gorgeous. Taste delight. Rose, pomegranates are popping, and the salad dressing is tangy and sweet and creamy. My God, you guys, that is so good. How awesome was tonight's dinner? Get to share it with 1,500 of our family members. Having a great time. Amazing. You wanna make doll face, make all the recipes. That was awesome, right? So good. Corey, she is a great baby, I agree. <laughs> What's for dessert? That's Desi's department. Is there a dessert tonight or no? Mm, we have some chocolate that we just got. Some chocolate, yeah. We actually got an awesome shipment of uh, evolved chocolate. And uh, Base Culture sent us some uh, banana bread. We can have some of that too. Alicia right. Palou says, tell us about your new blender. Oh my, yes. And why can't I get the Kindle grocery info on Amazon? You can. So the, just search Flav City on Amazon. You'll see my cookbook and you'll see the shopping guide, which we're updating tonight. And the push is gonna happen probably tomorrow morning. Um, you need the Kindle app on any device. So a lot of people are confused. The shopping guide is an ebook on Amazon. You don't need a Kindle. You just need the Kindle app on any device. You buy it once, it updates for free forever, once a month. So I spent hours and hours and hours last week updating it. Art and I are gonna push that update tonight. And you'll see on your Amazon ebook account, wherever that is, there'll be an update right there. It'll push it to your phone, you'll be good to go. This is the Thermomix. I've been doing a ton more recipes in here lately. It cooks, chops, and, and uh, purees all at one time. 
You can make almond butter, almond flour, and I'm doing a big collaboration with them on Instagram right now. So you guys, that is it. <clears throat> I wanna eat everything while it's hot. What a way to start 2020, the first live stream Fantastic. of, the, job, of the month. My God, Rose, Daddy crushed it with you, Uncle Farturo, and Mommy. Yeah. That's how we roll, baby. We had a great time. Please add the link for the chopping board. It's there already. So once again, my chopping board, my knife, my pots, my pans, my teacups, my everything. Uh, Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City has 85 of everything I use uh, in the... In the kitchen, that was a huge hit for uh, for Christmas. So many people bought stuff, it was crazy. I do get a 7% commission, which is great, but it's all about just giving you ideas to buy stuff that you're actually gonna use, not crud, right? We'll do a Sam's Club video for sure. What are you gonna make for the 1 million subscribers? Good question. Flat iron steak. <laughs> That's what I want. Hopefully that happens very, oh, Otter Isle's here. What's this, everyone, this is the company who makes the, uh, the cauliflower thins, Outer Isle. So they actually, are sold at, at uh, Whole, uh, Whole Foods now, or they gave me a nice credit to buy some on their website too. So guys, look what we did. We made the uh, turkey burgers with your buns. Pretty exciting, right? So that's it, you guys. These burgers are gonna go cold, so we will see you very soon. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad, 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 mad love tonight, and peace. peace. Char Troyer in the house. Oh, She's Char, right. <laughs> happy new year, Char. Do you go to Publix? See we don't ya. have Publix here, my dear friend, unfortunately. See you guys. Amazing. All right. <laughs> have a good one, everybody. Bye, guys. Oh, this is so good.